Good morning, everybody. It is about four o'clock here. We're about ready to take off to Van Horn. So, it should be pretty cool going to the rental for the first time today. All right. Welcome to Culberson County Airport here in Van Horn. So it's been a while since I've done a video for you guys, but I'm really, really glad to be able to be back here. It's been really crazy with moving and uh, everything, really. I've also been learning to drive lately, so that's uh, been an interesting little adventure. I uh, hope somebody will show up here pretty soon, because I'm trying, this here is the yeah, only uh, hangar here at Culberson County, and uh, I believe it is. There's just a couple small hangers down there. Um, but I'm hoping to get a hangar space here for Kit Fox 1000. So there's a sign inside that says somebody should be here in 10 minutes or so. Um, so I guess I'll just kind of look around here, maybe do some filming. All right. Unfortunately, when I was at the airport, the footage that I, when I was talking there, unfortunately I was walking the wrong way with the wind, and I picked up a ton of wind noise in the microphone, so I can't use that footage. But to surmise what I was talking about there, I didn't get to talk to somebody physically at the airport that day, but I did get the airport manager's phone number there, and uh, hangar rentals are $65 a month, and there is one hangar space left, so I hope to snag that up as soon as possible for Kit Fox 1000. Thanks to um, your, gener your guys' generous support and donations um, so we can get Kit Fox 1000 flying as soon as possible. My current timeline is estimating something in the range of the end of March. I have a bunch of time on my hands now that I'm not um, working with my dad and we're settled here in here in the rental. But until then, I haven't been flying in a month and a half, so my skills don't great degrade so much. I invested in a flight simulator setup. So I am currently running X-Plane 11. Um, 11.3 and I'm using Thrustmaster rudder pedals, um, Logitech Pro Flight Throttle Quadrant and a Logitech Extreme 3D Pro joystick. The entire setup cost $169 without the computer. Uh, thank you so much daddy for letting me borrow your computer um, to run this on. My current computer um, that, I do, that I edit these vlogs on is uh, just a 2011 business laptop here. Uh, this is the HP EliteBook 8460P. My dad's computer my dad's computer is a 2017 premium gaming laptop, so significantly better for doing uh, X-Plan on, as it is pretty hardware intensive. So if you have a good computer already, a pretty, a fairly recent computer, and it's got, um, pretty, it's got, it's, it should have some pretty good specs on it in order to run x -Plane. but if you already have that, if you already have a good computer, then I would highly, highly recommend investing in flight simulator setup as a way to affordably get out and fly. For me, this cost about the same amount as two flying lessons, but I've already put four to six hours in the simulator already. And it's been a huge help to me. I seem to actually be kind of repeating the exact same mistakes in the simulator as I do in real life. That's a good thing because that means that I can actually iron out those problems and I can iron out those habits and those tendencies like flaring too high before touchdown. I can iron those out before I get back in the sim next, before I get back in the real plane next time and make my um, and make my dollars go a little bit farther, not having to relearn things that I've already learned, as that was a major as a major struggle stumbling point that you've seen, that you guys probably seen in some of my flying videos where I was having to go through and uh, repeat things that I had learned past when I was going like two weeks without flying. So overall, uh, 
really, really excited. This is going to be some really exciting times. Um, hopefully, the, the, I'll be able to accelerate. Uh, get a kickbox a thousand done like I said end of March and thank you guys so much for just kind of bearing with me while I've been in this transition phase uh, I know I haven't been posting videos or updates really uh, I haven't had internet for the last two weeks so it's kind of been hard to do that um, but I'm thank you guys so much and thank you to all the uh, patreon sponsors and GoFundMe sponsors and people who sent in parts and supplies thank you guys so much for everything you guys do for me and for, you've done for me and my channel, uh, you guys have been an incredible blessing. So thank you guys so much. I'm incredibly grateful to have supporters and sponsors like you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. What are you doing, Bichu? I'm editing your vlog right now. So normally I edit my own vlogs on my laptop like you guys seen. But this vlog had me stuck between a rock and a hard place and Bijou is pulling me through right now with her thanks. sweet Premiere Pro editing skills. So thanks, Bijou. You're welcome. Can't see in front of me, my enemies have tried every possibility. To know if I can be